Welcome to our segment on the list editor. Select a MIDI part, then select MIDI, open list editor. The list editor gives you another way to sort, edit, and troubleshoot MIDI contents. All events are sorted in the order that they've been recorded and listed in a row. The first event is on top. The last event will be on the bottom. In the key editor, you can have two or more notes displayed on top of each other, like you see here. But in the list editor, they have their own rows. This makes the list editor a good place to check for note doubling, for example. But if you want to edit notes or controllers, the key and drum editors work better. The first column here is the locate column. This arrow indicates an event whose start position is closest to the cursor. Double clicking in this column will trigger a project to play back from a position that you chose. A second double click will stop the playback. The second column contains the event type. Click on the note here to trigger the sound. The start, end, and length of events are represented here. You can change the time format in this column by choosing a different time format from the ruler drop-down menu. However, end and length of an event are relevant to notes only. Data 1, 2, and 3 columns show the value of the event properties. The values in these columns can be changed. Just double click and enter your new value. You will recognize most of the tools and functions in the toolbar at this point. They work the same way as in the key and drum editor. The list editor does have some new functions, such as a filter. Click on this button. By checking these checkboxes, you can filter events out by event type. The mask function works similarly to the filter function. Select an event, choose the event type from this drop-down menu. All events but the event type you select are now hidden. Event types and data1 will leave only events which match both of the parameters and the rest of the events are going to be hidden. Now you can modify the values of the parameters of remaining events Here you also have preset filters from the logical editor. Choose preset and open the logical editor. Using the logical editor, you can filter events by specific parameters and then modify, move, or delete them. You can use existing presets or you can create your own. Cubase stores your presets in the Logical Edit folder under Presets. And this concludes our List Editor tutorial.